back to another episode. Today we're going to talk about the Shadow Priest in Battle for Azeroth's PvP talents. If you're looking for a PvP, no, sorry, a normal guide for talents, I already made a video about it. But in this one here, we're going to go through the PvP talents for the Shadow Priest in Battle for Azeroth. So in Battle for Azeroth, they have made some new PvP changes. Uh, as you can see here, you only have four now you can choose between. And the first one here is the PvP trinket you can choose between. And the next three, you can see the same thing you can choose. It's all your, well, you can say PvP talents that actually is doing a big impact in PvP. Keep in mind that this is the new system that you can enable by clicking on war mode. You can enable or disable it. Uh, so when you're questing and in world PvP, you can say and enable it. People can kill you. If you disable it, you can't die. Um, so PvP servers will be deleted and every server will be the same. So let's go through the the talents. So the first one here is your PP talents. This one here that is just will the, the reduce your duration of crowd control, your automatically PP trinket that has one minute cooldown, and your PP trinket with two minutes cooldown, but you have to use it. But it's much more well I would say it's better because you can choose which actually crowd control you want to go out of instead of the automatically one that is actually choosing for you. Then we have the next three slots where we have all those. So let's go through them. Uh, word Shield. After casting Power Word Shield on yourself, all damage you deal heals you for 33% of the damage for the 5 seconds. Damage deal by Vampire Touch is not affected. So the damage you deal with Shadow Word Pain, Mind Blast, Mind Flay, Word Eruptions, so on, would heal you for 33% the next 5 seconds after you actually cast a shield on yourself and the shield has five second cooldowns so that means you can cast the shields all the time and will keep yourself heating up then we have pure shadow this version reduces damage taken by additional 35 and cause void form to not drain insanity for an additional six seconds after this patient ends so right now it it's 60 but it will be then 95 so that means it's almost like a paladin bubble uh, you cannot deal damage though in the time, but you cannot die through when you have it on. Vampiric in brains cooldown is reduced by 50. Right now it's 1.3 minutes, so yeah, it would be less than one minute. Why white farm is is not active? Being attacked will grant you nine insanity over three seconds. So that means, well, yeah, when you're not inside your shadow form or your well void form. Every attack that deals damage to you will give you more insanity and it will make you big, well, faster come into your void form. While at 100 insanity and not in void form, your damage is increased by 20. Dude, I really never liked this one here because isn't it the thing with Shadow Priest is to go into the void form? Fully chained Mind Flay causes you to steal 3% haste from the target for 20 seconds. Only 12% haste can be stolen from a single target. Stacks up to 8 times. Mind Blast now deals 20% of its damage to all targets affected by your Vampiric Touch within 40 hours. Oh, pretty cool for some AoE damage. White Shift, you, you and the current target party of Rain member swap health. Uh, swap health percentage. Increase the lower health percentage to of the two to 25 if below that amount okay so yeah if you ain't it let's say you're on 100 and your teammate is on five percent so if you use it on him you will be on 25 and he will be on 100. it's pretty cool if you want to like save your healer or something void eruption is now instant cast that's also pretty cool sci find summon a sci find with 10 health for 12 seconds beside you to attack the target at a range with Sci-Fly. Sci -fly. Deals up to 1% of the target's total health and shadow damage every second, uh, 0 0.9 second. Allows slow, also slows the movement speed by 50 and reduce healing received by 50. It's pretty good. Having Vampiric Touch on two or more targets grant you 4 seconds every two, 2 seconds. So, okay, nice talents. Nothing big breakthrough, I think. But, I mean, they're nice. It can help you a lot. Yeah. So, yeah. 
this one's the PP talents for the Shadow Priest and Bad Friars Red Beta. So if you have any questions about it, leave down a comment. Else, if you have anything to comment on, well, leave down a comment. Else, I can just say, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.